Hey guys, today I'm going to show you and explain to you how you can do the uh, also famous elevators that everyone's been doing. And they're really not even that hard, it's just once you get used to, once you get used to the uh, technique that you have to use to doing them, it's really easy. I'm actually new to elevators, so, but one of my friends helped me, uh, helped explain to me how to do them. His name's uh, OGZX Mofo. Um, so if you're wondering why my screen looks a little bit different, it's because I have an enable underscore art mod on. It changes your screen, obviously. Makes it look different. I think it looks pretty cool. To prove that, I also don't have a uh, UFO mode on. See right there is my stick layout. It's uh, set to default and butt layout. It's modded with the uh, the uh, color mod thing. And then when you press B, it says unknown CMD blah blah blah. So you can tell I don't have UFO mode on. Now the thing with elevators is you can do them anywhere on Call of Duty 4 that you can't stand or can't prone. So for example, if I go here. As you can see, I'm up against the wall. I'm moving forward, but I'm still staying against the wall. If I crouch and go under it, but I can't stand back up, that'll be an elevator. Um, also, with prone, it works with prone. If I'm proning and I can't go back in a crouch or anything under something, that's also an elevator. Prone elevators are the same as uh, crouch elevators. It's just depending on which you prefer, it could be harder or easier. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go and find a spot where you cannot stand, which is right here. You're going to go to this uh, staircase. we we'll use this as an example. This is like one of the easiest elevators. You go up to it, and you line yourself up so you're, you are straight with the uh, wall. It also helps to have a red dot sign on too. Um, I usually go, if you look up to the top of the screen where you see the sky at, I usually judge by the top of my screen, see if it, to see if it's like level with the uh, um, top of the staircase, which it kind of is right now. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but it helps. So then you're going to want to go into crouch, and you're not going to move forward or backwards at all. In fact, you're not going to touch your left analog stick at all right now. You're going to look to the right about right there and then you're gonna move to the left and only left don't move forward don't move backwards and keep moving to the left until you can't stand up anymore and right here I cannot stand up I'm pressing the B button I can't stand up so I'm gonna move my uh, right stick to the left a little bit but I'm not gonna I don't wanna go past that even mark where I tried to where I even my screen up with the sky and the staircase at the beginning when I started explaining how to do this I don't want to do that. I want to just move it to the left a little bit. And then, once you do that, you're going to start inching your way out to the right. You press right on the left analog stick and just tap it. Just barely tap it so you're moving to the right as you can see I'm doing right now. And you're going to keep doing that until you can stand up. Okay, right there. I can stand up there, so I'm going to go back in a crouch. I'm going to move back to the left, I can stand up again, move back to the left, I cannot stand up. So from that spot that I just stood up and went back in the crouch to where I'm at now, in between there is where the elevator is at. So I'm going to move to the left again and there I stood up. So in between the spot where I can't stand up and where I can is the elevator and you just got to keep inching your way back and forth left and right, what I mean, don't move forward, don't move backwards, left and right, until you get to that spot where it's exactly in between where you can't stand up and where you can. So you just keep moving back and forth. I cannot stand up here, so I'm going to tap to the right a little bit. I can stand up there, so it's in between where I just now moved. you got to be exactly precise. There you go. I'm doing it right now. It's all about hitting the exact right spot. When you're doing this one, you also want to go crouch. Otherwise, it'll mess you up when you get to the top. Go crouch and then hold backwards. But there you go. No UFO. Unknown 
unknown CMD, no UFO. I have no UFO on. Uh, it's not old school. I have both my rockets. That was an epic fail. So was that. Okay, whatever. I don't care. But you get the point. Basically, it's all about finding that right spot. You can do elevators anywhere that you can't. When you go in a crouch and you go under something, if you can't stand up, that's an elevator. Same with prone. This video might seem confusing at first, and I'm sure it will be, because none of the other tutorials helped me on YouTube. None of them did, except for uh, one of my friends. They uh, explained to me his uh, name's OGZXMofo. So, um, you can do this. It doesn't have to be on those specifically. If you can find a spot where you can't, where you go crouch and you can't stand back up, that's an elevator. It's, it's just all about trying to get the right exact spot. And it's not, to prove that it's not just in certain spots, I'll do it over here. I gotta hurry up too because I'm almost low on time. Right? So I go and line myself up, make sure I'm even, go crouch, look to the right, about right there. Move to the left a little bit so I cannot stand up. Right there, I can't stand up. And then I look to the left again. Not all the way, just barely. And then I keep tapping my way. Okay, so I can stand up there, so I'm going to move back to the left. I can stand up there and move back to the left. Just barely tap. I can't stand up here. So from where I stood up last and right here, in between that is the elevator. So I got to tap to... Oh, that was too much. Yeah, I kind of messed it up. You got you got to be really sensitive on the controller when you're doing this. Don't tap too much. So okay, I can't stand up there. Move to the look to the right or left a little bit, and move out to the right. I can stand up there, move back. Can't stand up. I can stand up there, so it's in between that spot. There you go. Just did it. Right there. It's really, it really is as easy as that. All you gotta do is just get used to it. Here I am at the top. I did not do any cutting in this video at all. It's just gonna be a straight up video. There's not gonna be any editing whatsoever. Except for the fact that I'm probably gonna make it widescreen and uh, cut down the file size a little bit so it doesn't upload. But that's it. They really aren't that hard. I just showed you two examples. They're, they probably weren't the best spots to do them at, but these are the easiest locations to do elevators at, and I recommend you practicing on all these spots before you go do any other elevators. Um, sometimes when you're doing an elevator, you might get a thing where you're getting ready to stand up, and it pushes you back down real quick. Like, your screen will vibrate a little bit. That happens. It's not... It's not patched, it's not nothing, it, it happens. You just gotta find the right spot, and obviously that's not the right spot. So I'm running low on time right now. Uh, I'm gonna cut the video off here, so... Thanks for watching, subscribe to my videos, I'll be posting uh, a lot of elevator, possibly elevator montages. Uh, I know it seems kinda gay, but hey, I mean, it, it's, it's interesting to watch, at least for me. So enjoy the video, and subscribe to my videos, thanks.